Hi, this is Tony Davis from See You There Promotions, and I'm talking to Stu Bailey from Why Raven Down tonight. Hi, Stu, how are you? Hi, mate. Yes, I'm good. I'm good. I'm loving the background behind you, mate. So uh, thank you very much for putting that on special for us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thank you. Dug that out for you. Um, it's nice to see you again. I think the last time we spoke was uh, probably about 18 months ago before you came to the Carlisle in Hastings the last time. Right. All right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was so that would have been the uh, tour we grenade. did with Hearts and Hand Grenade, is it? That's yeah, right. yeah. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. great yeah, fun. So that, that, was great that was a fun. nice that was a nice tour. Yeah, it was. It was and Adam Adam and the Hellcats as well. Yeah. They opened every night. It was brilliant. It was great. That was such a nice tour. You know, every band was lovely. Um everyone got on and uh, it was quite funny with the you know I just, the, the Yanks are great fun, yeah. you know, they don't know much about our shores, and <laughs> they're just like, what are you doing? What? <laughs> yeah, I, know, I mean, I know, you know, talking to them at the same time at the gig, you know, I had a chat with you and the guys, and a chat with them as well, and it's like, yeah, they, they, they were a bit surprised at what goes on, aren't they? You know, they're not, not quite on the same wavelength. <laughs> Yeah, as I always tell we got all the time is man, it always rains here. How'd you get over that? <laughs> so, that's, we used to get that every day. Gin, but, uh, the yeah, beer is a great hot. bunch. The beer is warm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, but they were lovely. And we're still in touch with the guys. No, oh, they, yeah, they, they were lovely people. They were lovely people. They, uh, you know, if I um, I tag them when I play stuff on my radio shows, and they always come back and say thanks very much and that sort of thing. So. It's always, no, always yeah, nice yeah, yeah, great kind of touch. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course, that that was early in your career as front man of um, White Raven Down. And uh, yeah, the yeah. last single, Stole My Light, was the first one that uh, you took vocals on. It was, yes. Yes. So, so uh, was, did, did you how, like it? I'm almost frightened to ask, did you like it? Oh, cracking. Absolutely yeah. cracking. Um, my listeners loved it. You know, it was up there in when we had the sort of uh, the listeners telling me what was uh, amongst their top ten tracks of the year. That was that featured quite heavily. So uh, yeah, you did all right, everybody. Cool. <laughs> so thank you, was, thank you to all the listeners. What was that like making the transition to the front man? <laughs> wow, that was the most scariest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> That's it I mean, was, you never it know was, it. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps not being the front man, maybe that perhaps came a bit more natural. I think the fact of that I was being the vocalist, I think that was probably the, the scariest thing. Um, I, I've, I've never wanted to sing. I didn't want to be the guy at the front with a microphone, you know, I, I I wanted to write riffs or construct songs. Yeah. That's that's always been my thing. Um, I mean, originally, like the very, very first embryonic state stage of, of White Raven Down, we were going to be a five-piece band. That's what I originally had in my mind, what? is that we were going to be a five-piece band. I was going to be a lead guitar, and we we're going to have a rhythm guitar or, or a, a, a dual lead guitar so yeah. we could bounce off each other and stuff. That didn't work out because I couldn't find another guitar player, and then, and then you know when we become a third, a three piece, and we're like, oh well, that's it. We're down to three now. Do you know what I mean? So I just hope we don't lose any more members. Yeah, <laughs> cool. By the way, it, there's no, there's no threat about that. But I mean, oh, no, good. Luke good. And good. About that. good. It's a power Luke and Tom are fantastic. It's yeah. a power Yeah, trip. and we're, we're loving it, mate. We're loving it as well. And um, the. I think that was scary. It was scary to do that. You know, I remember I mean, like the very first one, the very second one we did, the very, the very, very first one was in Ipswich. Okay. Um, in terms of like my first, because uh, I, I actually did one at the 100 Club in London um, uh, at, because uh, that was the time when our vocalist at the time, he, he couldn't do the show because he had an emergency. And, we were, and it was just hours before going on. I'm like, well, what we're going to do we knew that there was people traveling from wales yeah. to london yeah. especially to see us yeah. we're like, well, what are we going to do we can't let them down and and that's that was our very first time as a, a three-piece and then the second night we were leo's um and that was um 
uh, I, I basically dropped a brick that night as well and um, scared senseless. And that was when we were with um, these wicked rivers. Oh, okay. Uh, and, um, you know, those guys were like, wow, you know, I can't believe this is, I can't believe you've only done this like the very first time last night. And you should do it. You should do it. And, and when, um, you know, when uh, our vocalist was like, no, I've, got, I've got to leave, we're like, well, who the else are we going to do it? How else are we going to get through this? <laughs> yeah. Um, and here we are. But it's always nice. I'm stuck. It's always nice as well, isn't it, when other bands say to you, go on, give it a go, you can do it. Yeah, well, it turns out people have more faith in me than I did. And uh, sometimes I still feel the same way. But, but you know, I'm, I'm doing my absolute best. Um, and, you know, you get good nights, you get bad nights still. Um, towards the end of last year, uh, we've done enough and we're like yeah we got this now we know where we're going we feel proper um confident and we know where we were going with it all and that's why we released um uh stole my light is because this is this is the band now this is how we sound and um by the by the end of the year i mean as you know we are a hard working band. We Absolutely. are constantly yeah. Yeah. You are constantly working there. hard. Yeah. 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 Uh, but what we were finding, Tony, is just that uh, we were on the road that, that much um, that we just needed time out to, to write more material. Um, and so at the end of last year, um, uh, we, ju we just had to come off the road. Um, and we're working on stuff, we're working on live stuff, and we're working on new material. And uh, it is a, it is a slow process. Uh, so Tom, our drummer, he actually lives about an hour and three quarters um, further north than what me and Luke do. So um, we only can get together during um, weekends. Um, and of course, you know, all three of us have three, you know, full time, full on full time jobs yeah. um, during the week. We all, we all three of us have families. Um, so at nine o'clock, you know, every week we're up in Colchester and um, we're there rehearsing and writing songs and got ideas, putting ideas together. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we love what we do and we're loving the, the direction of where we're headed. Um, really, really, really excited about it. <laughs> How that's that, all going to come out. That, that's good because uh, I mean, two two things. First of all, um, you've got a real hardcore of fans, haven't you? The conspiracy is it? I, that's I right. Know yeah. People, yeah. So, you, you said just now you knew there were people coming from Wales to London to see you, and that seems to be sort of a constant theme in in the scene that you're in. This sort of the bands that you play with the gig, the the gigs that you play uh, and the venues that people travel a long way now to go and see these bands, don't they? You you and yeah, they others. do. Um, hard thank, thank God they do. Thank God they do. Yeah, mm. yeah, and, and we we're so grateful and we and we're so fortunate that um you know we're uh, in amongst some bands where people are prepared to travel. Uh, we're very very fortunate. Um. It's been it's been a hard slog. White Raven Down actually is is a bit of a metaphor for bad luck, and uh, sometimes it was just like oh, here it is, the curse. That here it is, comes again. Is it yeah. the gift? <laughs> you know. So yeah, but I must admit, must admit, touch wood. Um, we honestly, like, we we we've got demos together, and we're working hard, and we're proper pleased and proud of what we've got coming up stole we, my we are so yeah the star my light was was sort of quite a different sort of vibe than um than you had on the album and uh, is is that sort of a change in direction being reflected throughout the rest of the stuff you're recording well to me to well, me uh, it well, sounded different. No, 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 okay okay so so why do you think that sounded different what why, why you, you know i just purely yeah, I, I, I thought it. I thought it was perhaps a little more harmonic. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. I might be wrong. Okay. But, you know. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, it, it seemed to me that it was it was concentrating more on, on, on the development of the tune rather than, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can understand what I mean? Okay. I explained myself very well. Well, oh, the, the, there's, I think it, I think vocally, probably the new stuff will be more expressive. Right. Um, I mean, um, you know, the, the, the guy we had last, I mean, he was an excellent vocalist and, and had a, a really great uh, tonality to his voice. Obviously, my vocal, I'm a different person. Um, you know, it's always going to sound different. Um, but yeah, um, I probably might have more dynamics in in what I do, and uh, uh, I think um, that is that is going to be explored as we progress. You know, um, we've got um, yeah, we've got some songs which are, are showing a different side, which vocally we never had before. Okay. Um, and there are times when it's up here and there's times when it's down here and um but again that only that only just increases the learning curve that i've been taken on this vocal journey um which i wasn't prepared for <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, i wasn't prepared for it but you've grown at into all. it you've grown into it now so. <laughs> thank you mate I, I appreciate it i appreciate it it's um uh, vocals, honestly, it's um, unlike an instrument. You know, I, I think, so I mean, it was a long time ago when I was learning to play guitar. And I, I did feel as if um, there was a constant increase of I'm progressing. You, know, you would get plateaus, but then after yeah. a little plateau, you, you'd go again. Vocals are so incredibly personal. And um, it's, you know, it, it's, it's so much about confidence as well as technique and um, timbre, shape of your mouth. You know, there's just, there's so much involved vocals. And bear in mind, you know, like, I remember a couple of times when we were going on stage, you know, either before or after a band that have been, doing or you know vocalists in particular that have been doing it for 20 years mm -hmm. and i've been doing it for like 12 months you know yeah and it was hard it's really really yeah. hard to come off stage and you're like man you know i don't know how i did um and your confidence gets knocked um and uh it, it's it's just it's just up and down it's just up and, and, and maybe it might be that for a long, long time for me yet. But yeah. when the highs, the peaks, they're freaking worth it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They're yeah. really, really worth it. Um, I, I guess that uh, I guess sort of that confidence will grow more with the new songs as well, won't they? Because you'll have been crafting them to your vocals rather than somebody else's vocals, really. Yes. Yes. So yeah, it, I mean immediately I was learning techniques. In order to sing melodies which I didn't have a hand, uh, well, me and the last focus, we did actually used to write melodies together, but they were to suit somebody else's voice yeah. rather than my own. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, now it, you know. <clears throat> so, so when when I took over, the learning curve was just that, absolutely that, and then I was like, then it was about getting comfortable and getting more and more comfortable. So then it was like, okay, we're going to tweak this until we get it right. And then I've got as far as I got. Since we've come off the road to right, I've actually found that I'm going even further and deeper into stuff that I wasn't even thinking about four or five months ago. Mm -hmm. And and now I'm just like, right, I'm learning more. <laughs> I'm learning way more. Um, and is that gonna, you know, I, I'm I'm writing and I'm learning at the quickest rate I can, but it's also something that 
can't be rushed. No, absolutely. <laughs> you want to get which... it right. You want to get it absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And it's, so, it's, really, it's hard, mate. It is hard. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is. So when, when do you think um, you're writing and you're re are you recording as well at the moment or have you got some plans for recording or what? Yeah. Well, we're, we're demoing at the moment. Right. Um, uh, there's a, there's a, the whole process you know, is generally the construction of songs, uh, demo, and then perhaps speak the demo until you've got the finished article. And then it's a matter of recording that, that demo. That's how we work. Right. Um, and then obviously we mixed, we, uh, we mix the songs and then, then it goes off for mastering. That's how we do it. So we do a lot of the whole process ourselves, which if I'm honest, just ends up prolonging the whole process. But it's so expensive to record the money that we, you know, that we have to put into this can be put into other things. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we've learned a lot over the past what, five, six years we've been together. And um, it's about rather than paying someone an absolute fortune to record and mix us. And trust me, recording an album really is somewhere between six to ten thousand pounds to the level that we want it. We we are better off uh, doing as much as we can, as long as we can maintain the higher standard that we have, and um, and you know calling in people where we need help. Um, so yeah, yeah, and it, it's a process, mate. It is a process, and, and we've had to come off the road to do it. We we, we didn't want to, but we had to, and so it's, it's just the way it is. Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. Will you be doing sort of? Are you doing any of the new songs on the road yet, or not? Or are they sort of still <clears throat> not ready for public consumption? No, they're not ready for public consumption. Okay, well, we'll, we'll leave <laughs> that yet. there then. We'll, we'll not just, yet. Not yet. Okay. So, talking yeah. about being on the road, you're coming back to the Carlisle on the uh, 28th of March. That's a week on Thursday. It seems. You know, seems to have oh, gone really, really quickly since we booked you. But uh, and um, As. you're coming back to um, a different Carlisle than you were at the last time, because uh, we're now as a promotions company doing ticketed events there. So you're one of our. We've, okay. got, we've only done three or four so far. So you're one of our first ticketed events there. And, oh, uh, fantastic! Cool. I'm pleased to say sales are going well. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow, actually tomorrow, they're putting a new stage in, a bigger stage as well. So, oh, cool. cool. Things cool. are things are sort of looking good there. And of course, you're 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 appearing with Jen Annie. Um, and I think, yep, yep. you know Our those guys pretty well, don't you? Yes, yeah, we do. We've uh, we've been on tour together. In fact, they were the very first guys um, that uh, said, "Yeah, come on, guys, come out on tour with us." And uh, and I will forever be in their debt for that because they were the first band that said, come on, let's go do it. They took us under their wing and they showed us how it's done. And, um, you know, they're lovely guys. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, again, very well, you know, Dave in particular. They're all lovely. Uh, Lou, Hammer, uh, uh, Byron, you know, they're, they're all great. They're all great. I've not um, met them yet. But I'm, I, I'm looking forward to meeting Oh, they're lovely. Uh, and I get on very well with Dave. We we have a we share a love for for football, and um, yeah, it's just it's just great. It's just great guys, great people to good, you know, to learn from for us, you know. Um, um, we've added to the opportunity. We've added to the bill as well. Black Rose. I don't know whether you've ever come across those guys before. I, I have a mutual friend um, who does know the guys. Says they're lovely people and a great band. They are. Um, I bet I know that's, who that is. And that's, I know that's that. a great style. Is that Chris Ockenby? No, it wasn't, actually. No, it wasn't. I know Chris. Right, okay. <laughs> I know Chris, but no, it wasn't. No. I thought it was going to be, but there you go. Um, <laughs> no, they're, 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 a, they're a nice bunch as well. So, you know, I'm hoping that we're going to have a really, not just a good night's music, but a good crack amongst us all as well. So that should be yeah. pretty good, I think. So... 
Uh, yeah, so it's a week's time. Looking forward to seeing yeah. White Raven down going through their stuff. And, uh, um, yeah, it should be a great night. Brilliant. No, yeah, we, we can't wait. We can't wait. We're actually... Um... Uh, we've we've been working on a lot of things for live stuff as well. So we're going to be, this is actually going to be the first show that we're going to be using a, a setup, Whoa. a change of setup for us. Okay. So um, if there's ever a time for stuff to go wrong, it's there. It'll be there. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, come see us mess up. <laughs> well, I'll be on my, I'll be on my knees praying that the curse of White Raven Down doesn't come along again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, but we'll have, we'll have a great time regardless. Absolutely yeah. great time. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward, really looking forward to coming down. Right. Last time we were there, I think um, I think it was throwing it down with rain. It was a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it was it horrible. Was it was awesome. horrible outside, yeah. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Blowing a no. gale. Yeah, so it probably will be again, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks yeah. very I much. Think... For... Go on, sorry, you were going to say. I was, I was just going to say, I, bet, I think the Hearts and Hand Grenades guys, um, said to us like when we were loading and out of that venue, and they're like, "Yeah, in there, excuse my American, you know." I'm like, "What?" And people come here on the seaside <laughs> 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 because it was just just like, yeah. a gale, it was you know. It was awful outside. Ch yeah, chucking it down with rain. And, yeah, I just couldn't believe that people went there to the seaside. You know, no, incredible. But, uh, yeah. Stu, yeah, thanks exactly. for spending the time with me this evening. And um, I'm sure it's going to be a great night. And I look forward to seeing you in the next week. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, can't wait to see you, mate. My pleasure. And thanks again for your support and all your listener support. We no really worries. do freaking appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. Cheers. Bye. That feels good. What? Beer? Can you hear me now? Can you? Right. Okay. Mm.